Yup, yup. We are here again. It's just a lifestyle. You know what I mean? It's just a lifestyle, but let me tell you something. Just because you practice righteousness and just because you practice encouraging the hearts of men, wanting to see people traveling through the journey and wellness, just because you're about that kind of life doesn't mean that somebody is going to have something negative to say about it. Anytime, this is what you call 100% pure negative people. Anytime you're doing something to better you, no matter how hard you work on yourself, somebody's got something negative to say about it. I try to, I try and do my best to uh, not involve my thoughts and uh, myself into another person's journey, into another person's uh, uh, purpose. When I'm, if I'm doing my purpose. I don't care what the Hispanics are doing. I don't care what the what the what the uh, the presidents are doing. We can we can only pray for them because we have no control over what they're doing. And what I mean by I don't care is that I can't be totally focused on what the presidents is doing. We know that we you know we're in a lot of the threat of wars is constant. It's been that way since uh well since I've been here on this planet. So you know what I mean. But. When you, I heard KRS once say one time, he said, when you're doing your purpose, that's the problem with the world right now. Everybody, a lot of people, not everybody, but a lot of people are concerned about other people's purpose. And that's where you get all, that's where your mind get all discombobulated. When you start being concerned about somebody else's purpose, you know, do your purpose, do your own thing. Uh, life is so much better that way. You know what I mean? Life is so much better that way. So for those out there who working on yourself, that's good. It, it, you know, life takes work. Work on yourself. Condition yourself. Better yourself. Whatever, however you do it. And uh, the judgmental states of minds are going to be on the planet regardless of whether we like it or not. So we kind of just have to accept that. Uh, but there's a way to deal with it. It's called keep doing what you're doing. So keep your head up, baby, for real. God bless. Oh, to my cousin Boo, real quick, to my cousin Trayvon Richmond, love what you're doing, man. Just keep going. You know what I mean? That's your passion. Whatever your passion is, if you got a passion for cooking, if you got a passion for cooking, keep that passion going, yo. For real. That's an art. That's why they call it culinary arts. We are all artists in, in one way or another, whether you uh, singing a song, writing music, painting a picture, uh, in the kitchen, making food, causing the food to taste you know, like something breaking the food down and causing it to and seasoning it up to, to where, you know, the, the, uh, somebody can come in back and tell you, you know, I like this. This is good. Or even hire you for uh, 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 what, what you do. This is all artistry, yo, for real. God bless, man. One, keep your head up. Keep doing what you do. Much love.